I'm in an on-premises Active Directory domain controller on Windows Server 2022. And I'll just show you if I go to Tools, Active Directory Users and Computers, you can see that I've got my domain here. So what I want to do is I want to synchronize my users in my on-premises Active Directory into my Enter ID tenant. So what I need to do is I need to go and do a search for an application called Entra Connect, and it will download the Azure AD Connect version 2. So they haven't renamed it yet to uh, Entra Connect, but I'm sure they will soon. So that's why I recommend you do a search under that name. Now I'm going to download the AD Connect version 2. Make sure you get the version 2. You might accidentally end up getting the original version, which is not going to be supported anymore. All right, now that that has been downloaded, I can go ahead and run the installation. And now it's starting to run the install. So we'll need to log in as both the Enter ID Global Administrator as well as the On-Premises Domain Administrator when prompted. And the wizard comes up, so I'll choose to agree and click Continue. And typically, I like to use the Express settings. You can go ahead and choose the Customize if you'd like, but Express usually works just fine. So now it's asking me for my Azure login name and password. And after adding that, I'll click Next. And for some strange reason, it also pops up with this additional prompt to, once again, put in your username and password. And now what it's doing is it's asking me to type in the number 21 on my Microsoft Authenticator app. And then after that, I can click Next. If you don't have this yet, just go to your uh, store for your iPhone or Android and install the Authenticator app, and then you'll be able to have this option. And this is what I was talking about in a previous video about modern authentication. That's where you get prompted with a number, and then you go ahead and type that into the Authenticator app, and you usually have about a minute in order to add that in before it times out and you have to request it again. Now it's asking me for my on-premises Active Directory username and password. So it's going to be domain name backslash username followed by the password. And now I'll click Next. Next, you're going to get a message that says that not all the UPN suffixes are verified domains. That's because at this point, I only have the .onmicrosoft.com domain. I don't have a, a public domain added yet, which I'm going to do in an upcoming video. So I'll just go ahead and choose to continue anyway, because it's fine that we have this domain name and now I'm going to click install and then it's going to start to synchronize. Now all the users that are in my on-premises Active Directory should show up inside Enter ID once the synchronization is done. And the synchronization will happen every few minutes uh, depending on any kind of changes all throughout the day, 24 hours a day. So that way the users will be synchronized between on-premises and Enter ID. While we're waiting, let's just take a look at some of the users I created. We have Jen, Josh, Judy, Junior, Martha, Matt. So all those users should be inside Enter ID once the synchronization has completed. You'll notice during installation that it's also configuring the Enter Connect Health Agent, which will report back on the health of this connection. And that way you can receive emails letting you know if there's any kind of problem with the synchronization. And now configuration is complete. I'm going to go into Enter ID. And now I'm going to go into Users in the Enter Admin Center. And we should see all those users that were on premises. And there's Josh and Jennifer and Junior Admin, Matthew, Martha, etc. Synchronizing users allows for single sign-on configuration for on-prem users, as well as remote and external users being able to authenticate without using VPN.